Good morning, everybody, and thanks for being with us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio here on this pretty cloudy day here in Austin at the moment. We are going to continue a conversation here in just a moment about an issue that is taking up some time there in the legislative session, but wanted to point out really quickly that the legislative session is almost at its end. The last day will be on May 29th. That is the day that is known as Sine Die. If you take a look right here again, May 29th, the last day of the session, and we are tracking a number of bills that are still on the table this session that address maternal mortality in Texas. This week, we have several stories that are live on our website, kxan.com, looking at that issue and how to create better health outcomes for those who are pregnant or just had a child. One headline reads, How Can Texas Take Better Care of Its Black Mothers? The reporter behind this and three other stories that are now on our website is Inyola Lange, and she is joining us now live for an interview about her reporting. Inyola, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. You did so much work, and we are very happy to be able to highlight this. But I just want to point out to everybody that all these stories come from Mignola, and she is graduating this Saturday with her graduate degree. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> I'm feeling ready, ready for the job market, ready to tell stories that will actually, you know, reflect the communities that I'm reporting. And just, you know, have a great time doing that as well. I love it. And we are wishing you all the best. So let's just get into this. Let's talk about the stories that you looked at are focusing on maternal mortality and the effect it's really having on black mothers in particular. What got you interested in reporting on that? Um, so first of all, when I started researching on possible topics for this long-form digital story, there were a couple of other stories or other issues or topics that I had. When it all came down to, you know, choosing a particular topic, just the issue of maternal mortality and the timeliness of the of the story, with it being the 88th, 88th legislative session in the House, as well as last month, April, was also National Minority Month, um, National Minority Health Month, I also decided, I said, okay, the peg was right, and it was a good story to tell, and I felt like this was going to be a good follow-up on KXAN's past reporting on the matter. Yeah, because this is something we've followed for a long time, and you've added so much more depth to what we've done. Now, in your reporting, you did talk to this one mother who dealt with complications during her birth, and she really kicks off this video that you put together, encompassing all the different aspects of your reporting. So let's take a look at that, and then we'll continue our conversation right after this. Seven. That's how many pokes it took for Patrice Lott to successfully get an epidural. I was in excruciating pain the first four to five times he did it. And I was like, that doesn't feel right. Something feels off. This is painful. So I'm going through labor pains at the same time as, you know, the pain of the needle. To reduce the high rate at which mothers were dying, in 2020, the Texas Mortality and Morbidity Review Committee received a grant from the CDC to look into discrimination. This was an opportunity for us to delve a little bit deeper and to actually identify what percentage of the cases that we review actually have been impacted by discriminatory practices. Even though we acknowledge that bias, discrimination, racism played a role, this is the first time that we actually had a validated tool to use in a specific um, category that could be a sign. The committee concluded that discrimination played a part in at least 12% of maternal deaths in 2019. Black people in the community are experiencing health disparities in several areas. Maternal health is just one. It's something that is systemic and the biggest challenge has been that we've not been able to push the system to change in a way that allows black women, black mothers, and black community to thrive. Various bills have been filed to address systemic and institutional racism. The bills require cultural competency and implicit bias training in medical schools so that our next level of physicians would be better qualified and uh, capable 
of avoiding these types of biases. One of the other bills requires it for existing physicians so that they will continue to get this training as a condition of their medical continuing education. Extending Medicaid to doula care is something else state's rep Sean Fieri is pursuing. What my bill does, the We Love Doulas bill, is uh, establish a pilot program in the county with the highest number of maternal mortalities, morbidities, so that we can see what the best practice would be to ensure that uh, doulas can receive payment. In the meantime, community organizations have stepped in to make sure black mamas can access doula care. Actually, black Mamas ATX, who I work for, we give doulas for free because we are able to give them through grants. Gals. It's another really good one. They give doulas for free as well. The Mother's Milk Bank in Austin is another organization that steps in to help when families experience maternal mortality. An infant who, who loses its mother needs another adult to step in immediately to meet the basic needs of the infant, and that begins with feeding. We provide that milk and work with the family to develop a long-term plan. Lot said it's important for moms to start speaking up and to advocate for themselves when they feel something is wrong. We know something's not right, but we don't know what it is because we're not doctors. We didn't go to school in order to diagnose ourselves or other people. So we, we are allowing that uh, team of people to take care of us. And the care is not there. In Austin, and Yola Lunga, KXAN News. And we're back here in the studio with Inyola, who reported that story that touched on so many different aspects about mort maternal mortality and the resources that are available for a lot of moms here in the state. So comprehensive there, Inyola, but I want to focus on some of the bills that are up for consideration right now. You talked to a state representative there. What did you find out in your reporting about some of the solutions that the state is considering now? Um, yes, I did speak with State Representative Sean Fieri, who is really a champion for maternal health, and especially when it, where it concerns black mothers. And some of the bills that she has presented have gathered, have gathered like bipartisan support. Um, but most recently, House Bill 663 just passed the House, and that's one that creates a maternal mortality data registry because if you look at the report from the maternal mortality and morbidity review committee that came out in 2022 they looked at data from 2019 but the one before then looked at data from 2013 hmm. but with this registry now we're going to be able to see a more quickly quick turnaround of you know data so that the laws that we're making can actually begin to have real impacts because we're seeing immediately just what the effects are on mothers in Texas. And that is so fascinating to be able to follow this bill. We're going to have to see, though, whether the Texas Senate will take it up because it will, of course, have to clear that chamber in order to then become hopefully law uh, by the governor's signature. So we'll just track that process. But you can see in Inola's stories there on our KXAN.com just all of the bills that deal with maternal mortality. She has created this whole list of them all there. So if you want to check that out, you can go to our website. Uh, you did mention there that they there is a group here in the state collecting data, and it's called the Texas Maternal Mortality and Morbidity Review Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about what it's responsible for and what some of that latest data showed. Okay, so the Texas Maternal Mortality and Morbidity Review Committee um, is a group. It's a volunteer group that's made up of various people. Um, there's doctors there, there's community advocates there, and there's people who are, you know, invested and in, in a part of the medical, um, community as it relates to maternal health. And so they look at data from, that relates to when a mother dies, either between during um, childbirth or during pregnancy or 42 days after pregnancy. They term that a pregnancy-related death. They also look at data that um, shows mothers who die between 42 days postpartum and up to 365 days postpartum, and they term that a pregnancy-associated death. And so these people look at the data in order to find out how, you know, the state can 
um, better serve its mothers, not just black mothers, but mothers generally. But we are highlighting black mothers in particular because even though there was some um, improvement, especially when it comes to um, high blood pressure and um, obstetric hemorrhaging for women, that not that rates of that happening went down, but the rates in black women went up, and so that, those are some of the issues that have to be addressed, and that's what's that's part of the work that the um, MMMRC does, giving recommendations to the states on way on the way forward in regards to maternal health. And you can read even more about that uh, committee on Inola's stories that are available on KXAN.com. But I just also want to highlight that you not only turned one story, you put together four of them looking at different aspects of this issue based on what you were reporting out there. So talk to us about the different uh, scopes of your coverage there that people can find on our website. I think one of the most interesting things that I found out, just, you know, being curious about the story, was how what happens when a mother is lost at birth, mm -hmm. especially when it relates to the newborn baby, because we all know that babies cry when they're not fed. So who's doing the feeding here? And I found the mother's milk back at Austin, and they provide free donor human milk to babies who are healthy for up to two weeks and they do two weeks because their main focus is providing donor human milk to sick babies in the in the NICU so that's why they're only able to provide for two weeks but they work with the family in order to find a way to make sure that the baby begins to take in um, formula and they just work around that to make sure that that baby is well taken care of and something else that I, I was interested in was how what the psychological effects of losing your mother at birth could possibly be to a child and I reached out to a clinical psychologist and she said that you know it is true um, losing a mother at birth could have um, psychological effects of you know um, feelings making the child feel that they were the reasons why their mother died or other psychological issues to come up later on in the child's life and there are a number of documentaries that you really showcase the issue of maternal mortality and one of the um, initiatives at Austin um, the maternal and infant outreach program it's a part of the Austin Public Health they put on a screening of Birthing Justice which is a documentary that follows the stories of several women across um, America and just really tells the story of what what went wrong and what could have been done to really prevent the death because one thing that the reports from the MMMRC also talks about is just how 90% of maternal deaths in Texas are preventable deaths. So that's that's some of some of the things that we talk about in the story. Truly comprehensive coverage uh, that you've produced for us, and I can't commend you enough for it, uh, Aniola, because it is so well done. And you can find all those stories on KXAN.com at this very moment, all four of them right there at your fingertips on the KXAN News mobile app, too. Uh, before we let you go, though, Aniola, uh, thank you for taking the time today. But I mentioned there at the top of our live stream that you're going to be graduating this Saturday. Tell us what your future plans involve. What would you like to be doing after this? Um, definitely with a story. I think that I'm more interested in long-form, in-depth stories. But I want to maybe do something like investigative reporting, but also with video. So not just writing, but also aspect because just the video gives me joy mm -hmm. and it's great to really put that connection between what words on paper or words on the screen and just see somebody really tell that story themselves um, is something that was really fascinating for me I have worked on day turn stories yeah. but this one just you know it really drew me in and it was just a great experience speaking with all the people that I spoke with I spoke with about 12 people for this story and yeah it was really great so maybe something along the line, lines of investigative reporting or reporting generally. And so, yeah, but long term, I hope to get a job as like an international correspondent because the world is 
my oyster. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this is a great start, and we are only going to see good things coming from here. So thank you again so much for joining me. I, it was a, such a joy just to get to read these stories because of how in depth they were, and we appreciate you coming in to talk about them too. Thank you so much, Will. All right, everybody. That is Inola Longe. She is graduating this Saturday from UT, and the graduate program has been interning with us these past few months. And we wish her all the best. You can read her stories about maternal mortality and the effect it's having on black mothers here in the state and what the state can do a little bit better to address some of those issues on KXAN.com right now. Thanks all everybody for watching here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We will see you back here throughout the day with other updates. So hope you all enjoy your rest of your day. Take care.